Good evening, everybody, and welcome. And it's serious competition time. It is the NFTV YouTube quiz. We have Mr. Sam Mulliner. How are you doing, Sam? Good. Reigning champ. Titles on the line in a different format. Pub quiz vibe. Looking forward to it. And please tell us, what is your category, Sam? My category is... The Newcastle United season of 2002 to 2003. Oh, Johnny likes that. Johnny's nodding. Next one. Carl, please tell us your category and how you're doing. Um, very well, thank you. Um, I'm probably here to make up the numbers, but I'll give it a go. <laughs> my, uh, my category is general knowledge, Alan Shearer. So no specific season. Mm. And Johnny, tell us yours. Uh, I, I'm doing great, by the way, Lee. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, Sam? How are you doing, Carl? Joining the category? <laughs> it's Johan Kabai. Johan Kabai? Oh, yeah. A bit left, bit, bit left fields. But yeah, I'm doing good. Thanks. Thanks for uh, cracking us. <laughs> so how it works is uh, each person um, gets a chance to answer. Uh, they're going to be showing their answers to screen. Please play along. We want you to whether you're watching the rerun or if you're in the live chat, they're going to show their answers to the screen. I'm going to read out each question. There's 10 questions. Per category. We'll have a quick break after each one, and then we'll move on to the next category. There's 30 questions in total. If there is a tie, there's a little tie break at the very end to determine the champion. So Sam's already on the Thatchers. Yes, and I am. Be, we are actually going to begin with Sam's category first. So here we go. Question one. How many goals did Alan Shearer score in total in 2002-2003? Is this league only or all competitions? All competitions in total. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, yeah. So how many goals in total did Alan Shearer score in 02-03 season? Have we all got answers? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Carl, can you put your answer at the screen? 25. Johnny, your answer at the screen? 27. And Sam, yours at the screen? 25. And the correct answer is 25. Oh, it's probably the only one I'm going to get right. <laughs> well done. 29 to go. No plenty of time, Johnny. Plenty of time. Question two. <laughs> Which side put the Toon Army out of the League Cup in 2002-2003? I was actually at this game. My first, well, one of my first home games. My second home game ever as a fan. So, whilst everyone's thinking, which side put the Toon Army out of the League Cup in the 2002-03 season? Hmm. Hmm. Come on, Sam. Um, you definitely got that. No, I think I know this, but I think I remember it quite specifically. It's just whether or not it's the it's the correct season or not. Okay. Johnny, show your answer. Everton. Sam, show your answer. I've got Everton sla uh, with brackets, shite penalty shootout. And Carl? 3-2 pens, Everton, I think. It was. Michael Chopper blazed one over the bar with a penalty shootout. It was Everton. Kieran Dye was mint that day, by the way. Mm. Scored, didn't he? Mm. And Rooney scored a penalty, didn't he? Mm -hmm. So, question three. Here we go. Shea Given, Alan Shearer, and which other player played the most, had the most starts in 0 2 3 Not the most games, the most starts. I thought, like, the first few questions, you were supposed to, like, ease in into it. <laughs> oh no, no easing in our quiz. You're going to be the champ as well, by the way, Sam. So, you know, I haven't got one wrong yet. How are you doing, Bob? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the quiz. I'll read I'm that the out. Underdog. I'm the underdog. <laughs> Shea Given, Alan Shearer, and which other played the most, had the most starts? I haven't actually typed that question out properly, but I think you get the general idea. Who had the most starts alongside those two? I'm stuck between two. So right, only one down. Okay. Everyone happy? Yeah. 
Let's go, Carl, reveal your answer. Who's that? O'Brien. Andy O'Brien. Interesting. Johnny? The one and only Titus Bramble. Titus Bramble. We're all going with a different answer. Sam? So the one I was thinking of writing down was Andy O'Brien, but I wrote down Aaron Hughes. The correct answer was... <laughs> I'm happy about that one. Aaron Hughes. And that stat really surprised me. 47. Wow. Star that season. But it's a tile though, wasn't he? He was. I think he made one substitute appearance for 47 starts. That's incredible. But Aaron Hughes. So, Kidoki, question four. Andy Griffin and which other player picked up the most bookings with seven in 2002 or three? Read that out for everyone who's thinking. Andy Griffin and which other player picked up the most bookings with seven in 2002 or three season? It's a great season, this like It's one of my favourite hmm. seasons. Third place finish in a Champions League run. Yeah. What we'd fire, do for that now. That fire Nord game. Try, try not to say too much because you might reveal some of your answers for later. <laughs> um, <laughs> So, let's go, Sam, we'll start with you first. Can you reveal your answer? I, I didn't know, so it was a guess. I've um, guessed Big T, Titus Bramble. Bramble. Johnny, who have you gone with? I've gone with Craig Bellamy. You would mm, think, wouldn't you, a little, uh, little uh, chihuahua. Carl? I've uh, guessed Olivier Bernard. Olivier Bernard. Yeah, and the correct answer was Olivier Get Bernard. In there. Good guess, Carl. It's nice to be involved. <laughs> I'm on three, Carl on three, Johnny on one. It's going to only go downhill from me. <laughs> right then, next question. Question five. Newcastle's last defeat in the 2 3 season was against which side? Got pins and needles. Don't sit on the floor then. Get a chair. <laughs> right. I'll read that back out to everybody who's thinking. Newcastle's last defeat in the 0 3 season was against which side? Who is that side? Everyone happy? Got the answer? Hang on. Yeah. Have you written yours down, Johnny? I have, yes. Let's go, Johnny. Get, if you don't get this right, you're in for a ribbon. Oh, I. Johnny, can you reveal your answer? It's the only one I can think of near the end of the season. Man United 6 2. Man United 6 2. Carl? I can't remember at all, so I've just gone with Chelsea. And Sam? If I'm thinking this right, was this the Lee Clark last minute winner? Oh, was that and remember thing? when remember when we interviewed Lee Clark and we mentioned that in the interview, Johnny. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was Man United before that. It was. It I was can't believe that. It was Lee Clark of all people. Oh, um, on a par with the Keith Gillespie faux par, isn't it? The problem, the, no, the problem is though, you you were in your teens then. I was just a toddler at this point, so like you would have had it. Obviously, you can remember back in the day like that. I was 13 years old. Exactly. I was. I was this is why, this is why, this is why everyone's got categories. <laughs> Question six. And I would expect most of you to get this. In the 0 2 3 season, Newcastle yeah. scored five goals against which side? Yeah. Only really once, but it was five mm. goals against the side. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. I know yeah. I've got this right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Flattered us. Flattered us, though, this scoreline. Carl, you got your answer? Yeah. Can you reveal your answer, Carl? Can you read it out? I can't see it. Blackburn. Blackburn. Johnny? Blackburn. Everyone's got Blackburn. It was Blackburn. With five different goal scorers, including an own goal. Gresco, I think it was. Hmm. Question seven. In the Champions League, 
who scored in a second goal against Newcastle in the 0203 season, but at the San Siro. Do you get a bonus point if you can name the first goal scorer as well? No. Oh, what is the point? <laughs> <laughs> so in the Champions League, who scored in a second? Again, Heartbreaking, this one. Heartbreaking. San Siro. It's a great goal, I think. I, can remember the, I know exactly what goal it is. I just can't remember who scored it. I just got to guess. I haven't got a clue. Let's go, Johnny. Just gone Zanetti, even though I know it's wrong. Javier Zanetti. Let's go, Carl. I went Schneider, but I don't even know if he was playing that back then. Can't he remember. wasn't. That was too early for Wesley. And Sam. Even yeah, Corder. It was Ivan Corder. He was lethal if he ever played Pro Evo, his speed. Ivan Cordova, question eight. In the Champions League, once again, Newcastle defeated Bayer Leverkusen 3 1 away. We want the two goal scorers that night. Someone got a double, someone got a single, but we need the two goal scorers from that night. We also beat them 3 1 at home as well for Shira Hatrick. Uh, let's go, Sam. Shola got a brace and Luwalawa got the other. Johnny. Luwalawa and Amiobi. And Carl. I didn't get that. <laughs> I went with Bellamy and uh, Robert. Bellamy was suspended. Well, at least I can fight for second place for you, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> this is my specialist subject, though. So, you know, yeah. it's early days. Game over what? already, really, isn't it? To be honest, yeah. Uh, three one. Not if, keep, not if I keep hammering these like I am. <laughs> it was without Shira, who was banned by UEFA, and obviously Bellamy kicked out with Matt Ratley a couple of games earlier. Shira was for the elbow on Cannavaro. I yeah, thought. yeah, it was question nine. Name the current international head coach who was part of the setup in 0203 at Newcastle. I've got it. So read that question very carefully, everybody at home. Who is the current international head coach who was part of the setup in 0203? Oh, head coach. Is that Google you're looking at, Carl? No, I'm looking at I'm literally just staring at <laughs> no, He's queuing up an next song for uh, his radio show that he's presenting at the moment. I won't lie. I, I, my mind's blank on this one. Radio Staffordshire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Carl, you gone blank? Yeah, I'm blank, mate, on that. Blank. Johnny? Well, Sam got his, is he? We'll yeah, I, have, I think it's wrong. Well, I've gone John Carver. Scotland head coach, isn't he? No, he's head coach of Scotland. Sam? So, Steve Clark is the head coach, but I'm sure... Uh, did, didn't he Steve... He wasn't there in 3 was he? I was just about to say, I thought Steve Clark had left in 0102. Yeah. Chief no. No way. Gout. No way. Steve Clark is head coach. John Carver's just a coach of Scotland. Really? Oh, oh yeah, Johnny. Gee. I didn't mean. I thought he was. I thought he was way gone. I thought that he. I thought you only had a season to Bobby, and then we didn't yeah, see anything. He, really. he was chief scout, so it was a bit naughty on that question, but still part of the setup. Last question before we take a quick break. Newcastle signed which player, which midfielder in March two thousand and three. So remember, the transfer window was still open back in those days. Bit of a toughie, this one. Newcastle signed which midfielder in March 2003? Stab in the dark, this one, I think. May as well, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm guessing this. Let's go, Paul. What have you got? I think this is too early, but I've gone with Hugh, Hugo Viana. Hugo Viana. Sam? <sighs> Darren Ambrose. Oh, that's not a bad show. Johnny? Lee Bowie. Ooh, could be. Uh... 
Big I didn't think Luke Bowie was right because I'm sure he's because he signed in the summer that year, didn't he? Yeah. Least... Transfers are confusing around that time because, as Lee said, it was just yeah. open and for most of the season. Darren Ambrose, it was. So let's put up the scores and we will reveal them when we come back. So I'm just doing that as we speak. How, how do you think you got on there, Sam, and your that's the subject? I think I did okay. Um, I got lucky on a few because I, I'm a couple of lucky guesses in there, but it can only well, go downhill. You only got one wrong, didn't you? So that, yeah, a specialist subject. That's why I picked it. It's a very memorable season, but I got lucky in there. So there's plenty to play for. There is indeed. Right. You're going to hear from me and Sam. We're going to be back in about 90 seconds time and we'll crack on with the second part of the quiz where we'll move on to Carl's subject. You're watching the Black and White Show with Newcastle Fans TV. Lee, tell me about the Flick app. The Flick app is where you can get all of our Facebook, our Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, all the Newcastle news from polls to quizzes. It's free. It doesn't cost you nothing. Keeps you up to date with everything everything regarding Newcastle United, whether it's transfer rumour, whether it's the under-23s. We have quizzes, poll predictions. I came top two weeks running. Didn't do so very well last week, unfortunately. However, it's an app where you can download and keep up to date. It's the one shop, one place to get all of it. So instead of going to Facebook, instead of going to Twitter, Instagram, all these places to get your Newcastle news, the Flick app is the place for you. Sounds fantastic. The quizzes in particular are really, really good. Welcome back to the Black and White Show with Newcastle Fans TV. Such a natural Sam, isn't he? Just, just a natural You've got to create there, mate, mate, mate. Nothing. Could sell water to fish. <laughs> right then. Carl, how are you feeling? This is your special subject. I'd like to say confident, but after those questions it's just been thrown out for Sam's, I don't know. <laughs> okay. We'll have a little look first at the current scores for everybody who is trying to work out what everyone has. So these are the current scores at the moment. Johnny, you're on three. Carl, you're on four. Sam, you're on nine. How's everyone feeling? Very, very well. <laughs> I thought you might. <laughs> still plenty to play for. Still plenty to go for. Right then. Question one. Alan Shearer came third in the Ballon d'Or. George Ware was second. Who won it? I think this was 96. And you should have won it, to be fair, Shearer. Yeah. Remember Shearer wearing a horrible grey suit that night? Minion suit. It's called fashion, mate. You want to try it? <laughs> <laughs> no, hold, on, talk, talk, hold on. Lee, I'm going to defend you here because this Mr. Mullen very early on in the Green with the Mullen show that you had his scenes be shit on first day. Uh, oh, first it's a Ben Sherman polo shirt <laughs> and I haven't wore it since because my <laughs> wife now takes the piss for that same reason. Right, then let's reveal your answers. Carl, let's go you. Uh, Matthias Sammer from Bruce Dortmund. Good shout. Johnny? I had original Ronaldo. And Sam? Sammer. Did I thought Ronaldo come second, Lee. Not, not way. I might be wrong. It was a year after. Yeah. Uh, okay. Matthias Sammer, you're, you're right. Spot on. Matthias Sammer, you were 96. I think Germany helped persuade the votes they are generally feel. Right, speaking of Euro 96, I expect all years to get this. How many goals did top Euro 96 goal score Alan Shearer get in that tournament? How many goals did Alan Shearer get at Euro 96 and he was top goal scorer? Uh, Carl, he's already got his answer. He's happy, isn't he? Yeah, no. Johnny, look Johnny looks like he's guessing. I'm not guessing. I've got. I'm. I'm torn between one or the other. I just don't know whether he scored against a certain team. Um, Let's go, Johan. Oh, no, no, no. Right. I've, I've got. I've got an answer. I've got an answer. Come on, then we'll go you first, Johnny. Right. I was either going three or four, and I've gone three. Gone three. 
Sam, what you're going with? Your nice six. Yeah. Five. 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 Paul. Five. I'm guessing I'm wrong. <laughs> five. five. Oh, I showed my working. What's five? <laughs> Uh, Switzerland, Scotland, Dutch twice, and the Germans. Right then, simple question for number three. How old is Alan Shearer? Mm, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I only one know because he's, he's, yeah, he's born the same year as my mum, so I'll, uh, easy one. Well, I hope you know how old your mum is. Just about. <laughs> right, Carl, if you're confident then, tell me. Mom, if you're watching and I've got this wrong, I apologise, but I'm going to go with 50. 50. Charlie? 50. And Sam? 50. 50 it is, yeah. He was. Everyone got that one right. Spot on. 13th of August, 1970. Maybe a tricky one, this one. Alan Gira works for the BBC, but which other TV company does he work for based in England? Alan Shearer works for the BBC, but which other TV company does he work for, which is based in England? Everyone has answers? Yeah. Yeah. So let's go with you, Sam. I'm going for Amazon Prime. Well, you know, Amazon, Amazon's coverage of Premier League. I've got Premier League Productions. I'm done with anything. Blank. You could have had both Amazon or Premier League Productions. I've got Premier League Productions up on there. But Sam and Johnny both get a point for that. Uh, to, I'll be honest, I forgot about Amazon Prime, so shame on me. But, what, uh, about main, <laughs> what about main sponsors? Though? What, about, what about main sponsors? Who? Who? Just a reminder for everybody that's watching, Crystal Palace versus Newcastle on Amazon Prime next Friday. Brilliant place to get all your football. Make sure you download the Amazon app and watch Crystal Palace v Newcastle next Friday night. I'll, I'll even put the socials out to remind everybody as well. <laughs> do, do check out our uh, Newcastle Fans TV Amazon page as well. Yeah, <laughs> Right then. How many Premier League goals did Alan Shearer score in his debut season for Newcastle? Ooh. He was injured for quite a bit, wasn't he? Well. well how many Premier League goals did Mr. Shearer score when he first time for Newcastle in his debut season? There's a bit of method to me, madness here. Yeah. Everyone got answers? Yeah, guess. Right, let's go with the guess and first, Sam. Let's go you. Twenty-one, and I've even written 21. guess. And Johnny. Well, Shearer and Fernand scored forty-nine goals between them in that first season, and I'm sure Shearer scored more. So I've gone twenty-eight. I think it's probably a bit too high. I think twenty-eight. Yeah, yeah. Carl, I've gone twenty-one, but I actually think it was more as well. I think it was twenty-seven or twenty-eight. All three years are wrong. Oh, Bang in the middle, more or less. 25 he scored in 31 games. It was the following season, Sam, that he got injured. Because he only scored two goals. Right then. Question six. Who won the penalty for Alan Shearer's last ever goal for Newcastle against the Mackhams? Mm. There's a Mackham in this room. Who won the penalty for Alan Shearer's last ever goal for the tune against Sunderland? Um, yeah, know this. Are you struggling, Johnny? I shouldn't be. Come on, think about it. Yeah, I've got it now, I think. Carl, let's go you first. Uh, I've gone with Amiobi. Amiobi. Let's go, Johnny. I think it's Charles and Zogbia. Oh. Let's go, Sam. Charles Insomnia, open brackets, and Zogbia. He's got it wrong there. He's got it wrong. <laughs> it was in Zogbia. <laughs> Tricky one, because Albert, Albert Luque got a winner, wrapped, well, winner, I say, wrapped it up the end, didn't 
So, yeah, well done, everybody who's got that. Question seven. At which Premier League ground did Alan Shearer suffer his first major injury at Newcastle in a pre-season game? Which ground was it? And this is where I had him out for like six, seven months of the season. At which Premier League ground? Yes. I need the name right. of the ground. That's what it says, yeah. <laughs> Pre-season. I've got this one. The race for second is on, Carl. The race for second is on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dokie. Let's go, Johnny. Let's go, Johnny. Goodison Park. Oh, sorry. Goodison Park. I think Sam's got that wrong, Sam. Old Trafford. Old Trafford. Carl? I've gone Goodison Park as well. It was Goodison Park. It was against Chelsea. Oh, get out Very, very stretch. And then, on the like, and then he got <laughs> airlifted to um, Merseyside Hospital. Question eight. Alan Shearer has to go the winner against Germany at Euro 2000, but who actually got the assist? Ooh, that's a good question. Well, that's why I am. Never ever, never ever watched that game. Have you not? No. Possibly one, the worst, possibly one of the worst German sides I've ever seen. Yeah. Did we win? Number one, scored the winner. Yeah, oh. scored the yeah. winner. Yeah, one 0 wasn't it? There were a lot of elderly, elderly Germans on that side. Was Past that? their time. Who got the assist? Stab in the dark for me, like two thousand two is my first England tour I can remember. You and eight six was mine. Probably sure you would. Let's go, Carl. I think it was Michael Owen. I think. <clears throat> Nicky Owen. Let's go, Johnny. Uh, I just went for David Beckham. David B. Sam. <laughs> I went for Darren Anderson. The correct answer was David Beckham. Yes! Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Darren Anderson would have been that. It was a cross from the right hand side. Yeah, like well, I couldn't think of who put it in. I thought David Beckham would be too obvious. So I went and then it bounced. The cross came in, it bounced. Shearer with a loop and diving. Well, I say looping, it was a diving header back across the goal pass. I think it was Oliver Kahn, wasn't it? That yeah. was in goal. Question nine. Which club bid twenty million for Alan Shearer after just one season at Newcastle? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Hmm. 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 Starting to come on stuck. Which Got club idea. bid twenty million for Alan Shearer, which would have been again another world record after just one season at Newcastle? Have we all got answers? I have. Sam, you got an answer? Yeah, but I think it's wrong. Let's go with your answer first then. <sighs> Barcelona. Barcelona. Johnny? Barcelona. And Carl? Yeah, I've gone Barcelona. I know, man, you were interested, but I don't think they ever lodged an official bid, did they? I think. Hey. It was Bobby, I was it? like I was like you, Carl. I was on an R and I thought it could have been Man United. Yeah, it was Bobby who tried to get Shearer, but instead they went for the original Ronaldo because they couldn't get Shearer. Question 10. This is a really, really tough one. Which famous South American striker playing in Serie A spoke publicly declaring his admiration for Alan Shearer in 2003? Are you hot? What sort of question is that? Well, I had to get a hard, really hard one in there. So, which famous South American striker, playing in Serie A, spoke publicly declaring his admiration for Alan Shearer? He also went on to talk about how he's come back from injuries two or three times and still banging the goals in. So, I've got a guess. Yeah, I've got a guess. Uh, let's go, Johnny. Then, since you're guessing, uh, Hernan Crespo was my guess. <laughs> Oh, was that? <laughs> I guess as well. And Carl? 
Uh, I only know this because he's one of my favourite strikers as well. It's Gabriel Batistuta. It was oh. the battle goal. It was. Oh, my goodness. Batistuta came out and publicly declared, saying that Marcello Lippi even told Del Piero how to strike the ball by watching Shearer. Fantastic. So that is the end of round two. Carl, how are you, how are you feeling? Uh, I, yeah, it went okay, I think. It went okay. I um, struggled with some of them. Probably should have got some of them right, but it is what it is. Quiz night. I always was going to embarrass myself at some point, so I'm guessing that's tonight. <laughs> Sam, how are you feeling? You've got four wrong. Pensive. What does that mean? It means pensive. I mean, do you not know what pensive means? No, I don't. Another, just needs another Thatcher's. No, I, I do, I, I'm just very aware that I didn't cover myself in glory there. I've got a lead to defend, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to feel some nerves. Well, I'm not feeling nerves, but I'm just pensive. Well, I've learned something new every day then. Right then, we'll be back with a, well, second three, which is Johnny's. Um, which is Johan Goodbye after this short break. We'll check on the leaderboard as well. You're watching the Black and White Show with Newcastle Fans TV. Yeah, at Newcastle Fans TV, have we got a treat for you? We have three membership programmes ranging from bronze, silver, and gold. The higher you go, the more access you get to behind the scenes videos and also videos across the internet which are trending. We also offer first exclusive look at all of our videos. There is posts, there is also exclusive to what we're up to and what we have planned in the coming days. You find out before everybody else. There is also behind the scenes footage, which you can see here. Sam setting up, ready to interview Warren Barton and Craig Moore, making sure that his mic is set up and he has the two screens set up. And this is just some of the stuff that we do. There is so, so much more and plans coming to develop the membership behind the scenes. So thank you for our current members who've been there since the start. And this one about me is just thanking all the members supporting the channel during the COVID-19 which happened in the summer. Come over and have a look. Come and join. Welcome back to the Black and White Show with Newcastle Fans TV. And we are back, everybody. Right then. So, yeah, please uh, have a look at our YouTube memberships. You can click on the video. You can have a look at it. It's free to watch the video and... Um, see what you feel about it all, all the special behind the scenes stuff. I've put up loads the last week, so have a look at that. Right then, let's have a look at the current scores to see what you're all feeling, what everybody thinks uh, at home as well. Let's get that on screen now for you. So this is the current table. Sam, you're on 15. Johnny, you're on 10. Ooh. Carl, you're Ooh. on 10. How's everyone feeling? No, well, let's go into Johnny's round. I've treated myself to some biscuits. <laughs> so, Sam, you you only need six in this round, and that's yours. You're guaranteed. Yeah, well aware. Feeling, feeling confident. Um. Yeah. Fuck it. Why not? Confident. Yeah, sure. He is confident as well. Um, if you like this type, kind of stuff with the NFTV quiz, we're going to look at try and get the Facebook lads involved, and the winner will play. The winner of this quiz as well so we might do another one as well but let's crack on uh with section three uh which is all about why you hunker by johnny just something a bit left field just really just i knew i thought i knew sam would do something in the 90s when he was or something center midfield something so, <laughs> something in, so, something that he was about 22 for um i knew carl would do something like a shear or something like that so i thought i'll just go somewhere it's like wasn't too long ago so they kind of Maybe forget. But let's, let's see if you remember. Really. Like, Johan Kabai, then let's see if you remember. Here we go. Question one Johan Kabai started his professional career at which club? I should have put Johan Kabai at Newcastle. That that's, that's the text message should have been. <laughs> there, is a, there is a few Newcastle questions in here. Johan Kabai started his professional career at which club? Everyone got the answer? Yeah. Let's go, Sam. Let's start with you. Leo. Let's go, Carl. Go with Leo. Yeah, 
And then Johnny? Leal. Yeah, it was pretty easy one, that one. Leal, he was at Leal for quite a long time, wasn't he? Didn't start his career there. He started off a local side, but his professional side was Leal. Spot on. So well done, everyone who got that right. Okie dokie. Staying on Johan Gabay, kind of similar theme. Johan Gabay's last club was who? I know this. Johan Gabay's last club was who? Uh, do, 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 do. Sounds like Johnny's going to have to guess at this. No, I, I I kind of I know where it is, but I wouldn't. Oh, I'll just have to kind of think of a name for it. <laughs> uh, did it not know what I'm for. I mean, the, the the team name. That would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, that's Gordon. Johnny, we'll start for you then. I knew it was in like the, the Far East. I was like, I was like Qatar or something. Qatar Ali. Something I don't know. It's wrong. I know that. <laughs> As wrong answers go, that's really wrong. <laughs> He's named a country as well. I know. Um, I was just like somewhere there. Carl, I've just gone with Renz. I think it might have been Anzi over in Saudi Arabia, but I don't know. And well, let's go, Sam. Santatian. Oh, is it? Really? Is he signed for them? Is he? Damn me. Well, he's free agent now, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I thought it wasn't confirmed. He was at St. Etienne last season. He was. Right then, next question. Question three. Johan Gabay's first major tournament for, for France was when? Johan Gabay's first major tournament for France was when? I'd be more specific in these text messages you send me, but I'll tell you. <laughs> Kick yourselves when you find out. Are we happy with answers? Yes. Let's go, Carl. I think it was Euro 2012. Let's go, Johnny. That's exactly what I've got, Euro 2012. And Sam. I went a bit late. I up at the World Cup in 2014. Oh, Against England. England was when he played against us. It was his first game in a major tournament. Then Arthur came on off the bench for him, actually. Right. How many Premier League goals did Johan Kabay score for Newcastle? It's a toughie. It's either one or the other for me. How many Premier League goals did Johan Gabay score for the team? Uh, Get some answers then. Sam, we'll start with you. Guess 17, but I don't know. Absolutely Johnny? not bad. 17. And Carl. This makes makes me feel better. I thought it was way off, but I've gone seventeen as well. How did you all get that? That's ridiculous. That's really well done. That like to all your at seventeen. That's really really good. That like total guess. Yeah. So, right then, question five. Similar question. How many Premier League goals did he hang a by score for Crystal Palace? Not many. <laughs> that would be my guess. Um, Don't know. What flavour crisps eaten, Sam? Everyone's asking now. No, the biscuits. Just, just some, just some oh. nice, just some nice biscuits. For, for a choice of biscuits. I didn't have any pork scratchings because I thought we were getting into the pub quiz vibe. So I've got cider, but you know, used to have. Poor choice of biscuit, in my opinion. Like, it's the only one we had left. Lockdown, you see. Oh, no. mm. Right, let's guess the answers. How many goals did Johan Gabay score for Palace? Let's go, Carl. Uh, I don't think he got double digits, so I'm going to go with a high single digit number, which is nine. Nine? 
Johnny? Eight. Eight. Sam? Eight. Well done, Carl. You got nine. Oh, oh. I think, if I'm right, he was penalty taker for a while, wasn't he? Yeah. 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 Missed I, against the two. Yeah, yeah Dollar. Dollar saved it, didn't he? Dollar's a good penalty save, hasn't he? Yeah, that's a 1-0 win. Townsend, uh, Wundagle, wasn't it? And John Joe mm -hmm. went over and did this in Kabai's face. <laughs> so yeah. great goal, didn't he? Well, Honestly, I thought we were going to stay up after that day. Yeah. So, um, horrible, horrible. Right, question six. October 22nd, 2011. Johan Gabay scored his first Newcastle goal against which side? I was at this memorable game. Jürgen Abai scored his first Newcastle goal against which side? It was October 22nd, 2011. Should have been about 10 0 this game. Johnny and Sam seem very confident. So let's go call again. I'm, uh, I'm going to go Everton. Everton. I can't remember. Johnny, what are you going with? Wigan Athletic. And Sam. Wigan. Sylvan Marvo with the assist. It was Wigan in a 1-0 win. I think you've all got to get this right and Sam's got to get every single question wrong. I'm here. I think Sam will get this one. Johan Abai's last goals for Newcastle were against which side in a 3-1 away win? And then he buggered off to Paris. Johan Gabay's last goals for Newcastle were against which side in a 3-1 away win? My mind's gone completely blank. Have another Thatcher's. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know more BRs are available at br52.com forward slash NFTV? Thank you very much, Lee, for that. You're welcome. Plug it in. Plug it in. Right, Johan Gabay's last goals were against which side in a 3 1 away win. Let's go, Sa uh, let's go, Sam. Do you know what? I don't know. My mind's gone completely blank, so I've guessed West Ham. West Ham. Let's go, Carl. I've gone Palace. Palace. Um, West Ham might went completely blank in his, in his first round, West Ham. <laughs> Do you know what? I thought I'd got it wrong because when I put it up, you went. <laughs> it was West Ham in a 3-1 away win so I think uh, that declares you winner Sam but we've still got second place to go for here three more questions question 8 this is a tough one as Johan Kabay joined Newcastle in 2011 so did Mehdi Dabid Den Babar Gabriel Obertan Silva Marvo David Santon but which other player was one other player joined that summer Carl's got his thinking hat on. I think 2011, I must have just been pissed for the whole year because I can't remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to change the player around, but I thought, no, I think keep that, keep the player in mind there. So it was Medi B, Demba Bar, Gabriel, Obertan, Marvo, Santon, and which other player signed? He signed the same day as Santon, actually. Carl, do you want to guess? Uh, Remy Caballa? Caballa. Johnny? Rob Elias. And Sam? Uh, I'll, I'll run you through my thinking for this one. Um, I, re I originally put Boom because I've already won. <laughs> um, but I did actually then put Rob Elliott as well because uh, that day he signed, I was at Edinburgh Zoo. <clears throat> well, I was at Edinburgh Zoo last month. Hmm. Well, I say last month, it was five weeks ago, six weeks ago now. Good zoo. It is a good zoo, yeah. Question nine. Which Premier League club bid 10 million for Johan Gambay unsettling the Frenchman? This was well documented. And then he was dropped for two games, I think it was. Me and Johnny were talking about this the other night. We were, actually. <laughs> and then he came in and scored, didn't he? And he came back in. Uh, no, no. not straight know? away. Not straight away, no. Because we he came on against Fulham. 
And Ben Arthur scored a worldie about five minutes from the end. Shock. Doesn't like tapping that boy. Good Which one of well. bid 10 million for Johan Gabay unsettling the Frenchman? That bid was far too, lo far too low. Let's go, Carl. Let's start with you again. Again, I, I think it was Arsenal. But I think... Arsenal. Sam? Arsenal. And Johnny? I think it was Arsenal. It was Arsenal back in August 2013. And I think we've got the off Man City, I think, 4 0. Yeah, I was at that game. Awful. Could have been 10. You um, didn't play. He didn't play the next one. Last question. Johan Nabai has played his club football in England, France, and which country? <laughs> um, eeny, meeny, my F. Did Johnny mention this before? He mentioned a country. But is it that country? I don't know. I don't think... Is it? So he's only ever played in England and France, but which other country has he played his football? Club football, that is. Clue. Far East. You were right before, Johnny. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> There's only three that most of the football I was playing. I know. Uh... I'm going to go to. <sighs> Um, Let's get to Mantos because we're running out of time. Let's go, Sam. I'm going to go with what Johnny said before. I'm going to go for Qatar. And was it Al? 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 Is that the team that he played for? I'm not sure. Al Hali. <clears throat> uh, Johnny. Qatar. And Carl. I've gone because Johnny said it earlier. Qatar as well. It wasn't Qatar. Oh. Is it not? <laughs> <laughs> it was a method of me madness. <laughs> Johnny's, Johnny's, I'm sure he secured second place with that as well. Absolutely <laughs> sold up forever. To, to be honest, it's either Qatar, UAE, or Saudi. It's only yeah, ever those three. That, they're the only ones I had. <laughs> they're the only three that they go to. So, um, Sam, tell us about how you feel whilst I update the scores. How are you feeling? Feeling good. Um, had a, b b before we started the quiz today, I um, interviewed Gabriel Clark. Obviously, um, reporter and filmmaker now who made the Bobby Robson more than a manager film. Spoke to him about his new film, Finding Jack Charlton, which um, the full unedited version of that Zoom call is on our YouTube membership page and the full video will be released um, in due course very shortly, this week or the start of next. Uh, the film's out on the 24th, I believe, so I urge you all to go and watch it. Um I do feel a bit bad because Gabriel Clark's your hero, isn't he, Johnny? Yeah, big fan of Gabriel Clark. I love I got that sort of job is probably one of my dream jobs. Um, reporting on the touchline. And there was a moment actually in the FA Cup. I think Arsenal beat Hull three two. I think I've told you this about this, Sam. Um, where literally the only thing that he wanted out of that interview was whether Arsenal Wenger was staying or going. He'd been speculating for months and months and Gabriel Clark managed to get an answer off him. And within about a minute and a half after the game, it was brilliant. It was brilliant journalism, um, brilliant uh, work from him. But yeah, huge fan of his uh, his work on ITV in particular. So as you can see, the NFTV quiz has been completed. Sam is champion with 22 out of 30. Boom. John Guise is in second place, two ahead of Carl. And Carl on 15. Carl, that was your first ever quiz, so how are you feeling? Um, it's not going to happen again. I'm coming back stronger next year. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. We could do it. Could do another spin-off. But yeah, in, uh, enjoyed it, lads. Loved yeah, it. Brilliant. Loved it. Uh, we do have a tiebreaker question with me as well for the crack. Um, oh, chuck, it, chuck it in. Why not? To the nearest, how many people have been on the NFTV team since creation? I don't know. I never watched it before I joined. <laughs> <laughs> if everybody is watching, we've not so please so you know you put me beans on toast on tonight, so thank you. I think I can name all of them. The floor is yours. Yeah, go on then. I'm just gonna throw a number out there and say um blah, 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 so 15. Is this including like social medias and stuff? Every everything. Men of TV team. So it's been what yeah. five year, five and a bit year, five and a half year. Eighteen. Eighteen. Right. We'll go with it in order. So Lee. Go on, 
Will, Alicia, Sharky, Kyle, Paul, Rob, um, I was say you Chris. Out Lee straight away. No, I said Lee. I said, I said Lee created us. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> He's trying to throw you off, John. I know he is. So that's sorry. Chris, Australian Chris. Uh, so that's eight. You then had Mark Betham, nine. You had me, memorably. Um, <laughs> uh, and then you've got the likes of Isha, um, Sam, uh, Owen. And then you've yep. got Carl, Liam, Brandon, Adam. Matt, was that everybody? How many? Oh, and oh, there was another one. There's one more. What was she called? Uh, the Polish girl, she wasn't here long, and John, uh, Jonathan Kennedy as well. Just we'll talk about him as well. You've named them all now, but how many have you just named? <laughs> <laughs> That's That's about 60, 16 or something. No, it's 20. No oh. way, it was a 20. There's wow. exactly 20. So, over yeah. the course of five and a half, yeah, that's quite low, isn't it? Yeah, more than I thought. As I thought it was more than that, to be fair, I thought it was in the 30s, 40s. But yeah, 20, you've named them all, Johnny. So, well done on that. Mm. Everyone got a shout out. But I, can't seven... believe got, I can't believe I got six points for that. I'm not yourself. <laughs> 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 that was that was the tiebreaker in case it was the first or joint second. But that has been the quiz, everybody. Hope you like it. Something a little bit different in lockdown. If you like it, we'll do a Facebook one, and the Facebook one can play the winner, which is Sam. For a final, I might get myself and Matt involved as well to make it a four. But yeah, that is it, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. And coming up in the next few days, we've got the preview for the big one, Chelsea. Ooh, tough one. Thanks, everyone. Much better today. Bye bye.